That is right. Four victims, I'm told, found what they were looking for. But there are others who came here today to the Newport Beach Police Headquarters who weren't as lucky. Now, police tell me that Quinn Casbar, this suspect, did keep some of this stolen property inside of a storage space and they're investigating whether he sold some of it and used that money to gamble at local casinos. We have uh, some some pearl earrings, some rings, uh, looks like some pens, tie bars. And then uh, over here we have a, a Fender Stratocaster guitar. It appears to be unique, it appears to be old. Newport Beach Sergeant Josh Comp shows me what's left of a half million dollars worth of stolen belongings. Since May and perhaps longer, detectives say 18 year old Quinn Casbar of Balboa Island hit more than a dozen homes near his, a prolific crime spree that frightened neighbors and has shocked experts and victims alike. It's overwhelming. I mean, I've been around a lot of criminal things in my life, not because I've done something wrong, but because I have a family with the law. But um, it's astounding. I just. <laughs> I can't believe it. Jane German came to the police department to see if she could find what was stolen from her, and it paid off. A family heirloom, diamond and pearl earrings passed down from her mother were on display. Raina Lou had good luck as well, locating her father's missing Rolex watch. And then you get items that mean a lot to you taken, and it's just hard, but at least we found some today, so. Police say these photos came from suspect Quinn Casbar's cell phone. There are many high-end watches, purses, diamonds, and even a gun. But what detectives don't know is where this property is and who it belongs to. While detectives found some of the stolen items, there's plenty that may have been sold online or to pawn shops. Police tell me they were on to Quinn Casbar and had been surveilling him. He was allegedly known to pry open skylights and use tools to get into second story windows in Newport and Corona del Mar. Before his arrest, the teenager was known as the one riding waves at the wedge on an air mattress. Before officers got Casbar into handcuffs earlier this month, he tried to escape, they say, by jumping into Newport's back bay. Now, before today, police were able to find some of the victims and return some of their property, including uh, guitars, collectible guitars, to one man that amounted to about $250,000. Now, as for this suspect, Quinn Casbar, he is being held on a half million dollars bail. The district attorney is increasing the charges. He's now up to 14 counts of burglary, and this case is still open. We reached out to Quinn Casbar's attorney and he says he has no comment at this point. Live in Newport Beach, I'm Michelle Geely. Back to you.